YouTube. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to build uh, a nice little like live Bitcoin data dashboard. So if you ever want to see your return on investment, uh, how much money you're up, uh, you know your average your average cost over here, you can you can do this pretty easily uh, just by setting up a simple dashboard. So the goal of this video is to get it done in sub 10 minutes. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try to move a little bit here. So first things first, let's open up the blank workbook okay then we're going to come over to our data tab we're going to get data from the web my computer was a little faster this would <laughs> be a little easier to get it done in under 10 minutes so uh, for the url it's this is it right here so I'll take a sec i'll put that in the description as well so we're going to pull bitcoin in uh, just bitcoin no other cryptocurrencies here there's going to be two options. We're going to take the Bitcoin table, just load that in. And we should get a table here in a second. There it is. So I'm going to go ahead and change the table style. I'm going to rename Bitcoin price because we're going to be using this cell a lot. So I'm going to name that Bitcoin BTC. And then we're going to use this one as well, the, the close. So we'll just call it Bitcoin close. Um, and then we'll just name this uh, BTC live data. Now we can come to our next sheet. This will actually be our dashboard. Jesus Christ. So my dashboard. And we'll get some backend calculations going on this sheet over here, backend calcs. So let's start in the dashboard. First thing we wanna do is add that table in, like our purchase history. So we'll just merge this, call it purchase history. And then we'll go date, we'll go uh, dollars in USD will go uh, amount in Bitcoin, okay? Because this is the this is the data that you get from Coinbase. You don't get any of the other good stuff like return. Um, now I don't actually have examples with me. I did. I'm not sure where they um, where they went. I guess I closed that workbook. So I'm just gonna come up with a few examples, I guess. So let's say we put in 500 bucks. Put in three, four, fifty, three, two hundred. I'm just going to put in some random amounts of dollars, okay? So, um, amount in Bitcoin. Oh, good God. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just going to just guess here. So, I don't, I don't know. All right, so I'm, gonna, I'm just going to save this super quick before I forget to save it. So we'll call it uh, BTC dash. Oh, cool. All right. So uh, make this a table. So format as table. We're going with this one, right? So cool. Uh, purchase history. We'll just make that a little bit bigger. We'll give it those uh, thick outside borders. So this is good. Um, let's keep it moving here. So now we need our Bitcoin price. So this is the live Bitcoin price. Uh, this is... This is why we're web scraping to begin with, right? Is so we can uh, get the live price. So what is it, BTC, we called it, right? Okay, the problem is that we have this USD on there. So we just need the left 10 characters. So this is just a little formula that gives you the 10 characters uh, to the left of what that is. So I'm going to name this BTC2 because we're going to use BTC2 a lot. Uh, now we need that close. I, yeah, there it is. BTC close, right? Okay, so this is funky. All we need is the the numbers here are on the right. So I think if we come from the right 14 times, 14 characters, we get that. And now we just need uh, the left 10. And now we have a number. So this is what it closed at uh, when it hit midnight, whatever time zone it's in. So now we, what I want to put here is the change, you know, from midnight to now. So, you know, just a nice little change function is what it's worth now. Subtracted what it used to be. Put that whole thing in parentheses. And then we'll just divide it by uh, what it used to be. So right here. Boom. Okay. So we'll make that a percentage. Okay, so it's down, you know, whatever, 0 0.0862%. Um, so now we'll just do an average cost, how much we got it for, total Bitcoin. Um, how about worth, total put in, total worth 
now uh, return on investment and how about plus minus in cash great uh, we're actually going to need another column here so yeah we got this uh, we can merge this here we can make it gray just to uh, separate the top from the bottom and i'm just going to make this bigger great cool okay so now what we need to do is start doing some work on the back end right we need our average cost we need our total in bitcoin uh, we need put in and we need worth now all this good stuff so let's come over here we'll call this date we're just going to kind of replicate what's on the other page um amount bitcoin right now i actually had another example pulled up so i'm going to just replicate what i had before so I will put this on another screen here and we'll copy that amount in Bitcoin. So what's that worth now? Uh, dollar change, percent change, buy in price, weights, weights times cost. Cool. So date for the date, we'll come back to our dashboard. We'll click the date. Uh, and then we can actually just drag this over and we can drag this way down. That's, that's good. We'll just drag it down there. Uh, for USD, we'll give this comma. For amount in Bitcoin, we'll give this comma with a few more spots here. This is good as short date as it is. Make it feel good there. Uh, worth now. What's it worth now? So multiply how much Bitcoin it is times BTC2. That number, right? So we'll just drop that all the way down. Dollar change is what it's worth now. Subtract by what you put in. Okay. Percent change, um, let's say the dollar change divided by what it used to be. So here, here we go. We have a little percentage change. So let's make it percentage. Wow, minus 20%, lovely. Okay, buy in price. I think we can actually just take um, our dollar amount that we put in divided by how much we got. We should get our, yeah, there we go. So this is how much we got it for. So we are getting divided by zero issues, right? Um, that's it's ugly and we're it's not going to be good when we copy formulas down or especially when we copy formulas onto the other page because it's going to show up as divide by zero issue so we'll just give it no value if there's an error so we'll drop that down so if error if there's an error uh, excel's like what do i do you make it blank that's what you do so make it blank okay we're weights that's that's nice so for weights, uh, we're going to need our total Bitcoin sell. So we'll say, you know, what's what's the sum of all of the Bitcoin that we have? So all the way down to the ground. And we can call this total BTC. So weights. Um, right there. Weight times cost. So we can get a weighted average here. That's nice. So let's get average uh, cost. And we'll just take a sum of the weighted average here. Now we get value, right? So we just have to do the if error and that will fix everything for us. Make it blank, make it blank. And then drop it all the way down. Okay, cool. So we have an average cost, which I'm going to name average cost. I put a space in there average cost cool now we need total worth now and total put in um so worth now is just going to be a sum of what it's worth now put in is just going to be a sum of how much money we put in so then we can get our difference so we'll call this one worth now and this one we'll call and put in and now we can do a little return on investment here right if we just do uh, parentheses, what it's worth now minus how much we put in and then divide it by how much we put in. Now we have return on investment. I'm gonna call that ROI. Cool, okay, let's go back to our dashboard now. We can just fill everything in. So average cost, great. Total BTC, great. Uh, equals put in, equals worth now equals ROI and then for plus minus cash we can just do worth now minus put in now 
this is great. We have like everything we need. Now all we need to do is just format everything. Uh, so let's just take our average cost, uh, make it comma, no decimals, total Bitcoin. That's fine like that, I think. I think comma looks good. I'm a big fan of the comma format. Parentheses, or, sorry, percentage, cash. I'll make that a dollar. Cool. Okay, so we're up 79 bucks. This is nice. Um, you know, we can go ahead and bold these. I'm going to put these on the right. And then here, I kind of want to just see like my average cost. So price of BTC, uh, it automatically makes another uh, column in the table. It just extends it. But if you just press undo, control Z, it will get rid of that. So equal sign, back end for here. We have it right here, buy in. So we can drop this down however far we want. I don't know. That's probably fine. 161 rows down there. So take this, make it gray, drop it a couple sizes, uh, comma, none of that. And then we can just uh, make it a lot smaller here. Yeah, so now we have an average buying price, right? So that's good. Um, give this some double bottom borders. Um, and then we could actually add like a little icon here just to kind of give it a little color. So if we insert illustration icon, we can give it, it's a, I think there's a Bitcoin icon in here under currency. Yeah. Cool. All right. We can just give that a little, a little orange something and now we can just <clears throat> drop the grid lines right here cool all right nice um this is absurdly big okay nice okay now if you want you can just conditionally format uh you know your plus minus cells here so that if it's green or if it's red um i guess i'll do that really quick before uh, ending this video um, but, but this is pretty much it. I mean, <laughs> this is a live dashboard and if you add anything, it will just add to the range. So we can just test that. So let's say it's the 20th. Uh, we just put in five grand and we got an entire coin. So our average buy-in is 5k and we're up 5,800 bucks. But you know, if we put in $5,000 and we got like, you know, a quarter of a coin, then it's only, then it's worth $20,000 right now. Right. Um, and we would be negative because five grand is just so significantly higher than everything else, even though it's a way higher, you know, everything, it seems like our buying price is a lot lower. It's not right. Our average cost is 15 K, but yeah, so it works. That's good to know. Uh, and now we'll just conditionally format this so that it's red and green. So I will go conditionally formatting. If it's greater than zero, we will go custom. I, I like percentage, I like three, I like green, because it's greater than zero. Good. Uh, we will also conditionally format if it's less than zero. So hey, if you're less than zero, come in with me, custom format, number, percentage, three, make it red. Good, good. Format, paint that, we'll paint it right up here. Good, I like bold, bold is good, bold that too. Uh, and then we'll do the same thing here, conditionally format. If it's higher than zero, what you're going to be is hmm, you will be green and you will be uh, accounting without any decimals. As who cares about the pennies? Less than zero and make it accounting with red font. So. Yeah, good. So now we can just test that, you know, if this is negative 50 bucks, it's red. So cool. So yeah, that's it. Okay. Um, now you have a nice little dashboard. So this is live. Let's just test the live. Here's our price. Uh, if you come up to data, refresh all, look closely. It happened so fast. And I mean, is it the same price right now? Hello? Oh, there it is. Thank God. Whew. All right. It works. All right. Life is good. So if you guys have any questions, just put them in the comments below. And uh, thanks for watching.